We're talking about out of a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, we're talking about billions of potential Earth-sized planets. And to believe that we're the only one is, I think, rather ridiculous. Sophistication of an alien life form, if we make contact with them, I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. What if a physicist as respected as Michio Kaku told us that a mysterious visitor from another star showed signs of something planned in its movements? That's exactly what just happened. Kaku has released shocking new analysis about Oumuamua, revealing distinct mathematical patterns in its acceleration that hint at something deeply unusual. This isn't random drift. The tiny forces pushing this interstellar visitor appeared too orderly to be accidental, almost as if some mechanism was deliberately modulating its trajectory. And right after this revelation, astronomers spotted a brand new interstellar object racing into our solar system. Coincidence? Or the start of something bigger? The timing has left scientists worldwide scrambling to make sense of what's happening above our heads. The cosmic mystery that began in 2017 just took an unexpected turn. And what comes next could change how we view our place in the universe forever. Keiku's new data. Michio Keiku, renowned theoretical physicist and co-founder of string field theory, didn't just revisit old Oumuamua data, he transformed it. His team applied state-of-the-art computational methods to squeeze more insights from those limited 2017 observations. What they found stunned the scientific community. The tiny accelerations pushing Oumuamua weren't random noise as previously thought. They followed a distinct mathematical pattern. These forces appeared to counterbalance solar gravity with surprising precision. Think of it not as a rock tumbling chaotically through space, but more like a sailboat making subtle, deliberate adjustments to maintain course. Even more puzzling were the thermal and rotational anomalies. The object's temperature measurements and spin state didn't align with what we'd expect from an inert rock. Instead, they hinted at something potentially more complex, perhaps internal heat or some form of propulsion. This is disturbing evidence, Kaku noted. The object's behavior seems to defy the conventional laws of physics as we understand them for natural space debris. It's not proof of anything artificial, but it's unsettling enough to make even skeptical scientists stop and wonder what exactly we witnessed racing through our solar system. So, let's break this down. Imagine throwing a stick across a lake. It spins wildly, slows down, maybe veers randomly. That's what we'd expect from space rocks. But Oumuamua, it didn't drift randomly. It looked like it was correcting itself. That's why Kaku calls it disturbing. The implications are enormous. If these patterns hold up to further scrutiny, we might need to reconsider everything we thought we knew about interstellar objects. But before scientists could even digest Kaku's findings, the universe itself threw a curveball that nobody saw coming. Then this happened. 3i Atlas arrives. Just as the scientific community was grappling with Kaku's revelations, the cosmos delivered an unexpected twist. In July 2025, mere months after Kaku's bombshell analysis, astronomers announced the discovery of our third confirmed interstellar visitor, 3I-ATLAS. First spotted by telescopes in Chile on July 1st, this new cosmic traveler immediately proved its origins weren't from our solar system. Its hyperbolic trajectory unmistakably showed it came from the stars beyond. But unlike its mysterious predecessor, 3i slash ATLAS isn't hiding its nature. Where Oumuamua baffled us with its lack of visible tail, strange acceleration, and enigmatic properties, this new visitor is putting on a spectacular show. 3i slash Atlas is massive, up to 20 kilometers wide and behaving exactly as astronomers would expect from a typical comet. It's developing a glowing coma and tail as it approaches our sun, releasing gas and dust in ways we can easily detect and measure. It's as if the cosmos answered our questions about Oumuamua with another messenger, one that's playing by all the conventional rules of physics. Before we reveal what scientists are now racing to do about these cosmic visitors, 
Hit subscribe so you don't miss future discoveries like this one. What makes this timing so remarkable is that 3i slash ATLAS was discovered while still beyond Jupiter's orbit, giving researchers unprecedented time to study an interstellar object before it makes its closest approach in October 2025. Telescopes worldwide have trained their sights on this visitor, gathering the exact kinds of data we wished we had for Oumuamua, spectroscopic readings, rotation measurements, and real-time observations of how it reacts to solar heating. But here's the kicker. 3i slash ATLAS may prove that Oumuamua was the oddball or the trailblazer of something we've never seen before. And what scientists are planning next could change everything. The Great Debate. The scientific community has divided into two distinct camps over what these interstellar visitors, particularly Oumuamua, actually represent. The first camp argues for natural explanations. In March 2023, researchers Jennifer Bergner and Daryl Seligman published a groundbreaking paper in Nature, proposing that cosmic rays bombarding an ice-rich body could produce trapped molecular hydrogen. When Oumuamua neared our sun, this hydrogen released as invisible gas, acting like tiny thrusters. It's exactly what should happen to interstellar comets, Seligman explained. We had all these crazy ideas, and it's just the most generic explanation. Others suggest exotic ices, perhaps nitrogen fragments from a Pluto-like exoplanet, or debris from tidally disrupted comets in distant star systems. The second camp, including Avi Loeb, and now possibly Kaku remains open to artificial origins. They point to multiple independent anomalies, the extreme shape, the lack of visible outgassing despite acceleration, and now Kaku's discovery of non-random patterns in its trajectory. Looking deeper, three scenarios emerge that could explain what we're seeing. Scenario one, a complex network of fractures in Oumuamua's icy surface, releasing hydrogen in patterns that mimic intelligent control, natural but deceptively organized. Scenario two, layered volatile materials with different sublimation temperatures creating sequential outgassing events that produced a mathematical pattern in its acceleration. Scenario three, a fragment of an advanced light sail, perhaps debris from another civilization's space technology Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. Still capable of minor course adjustments using solar radiation pressure, Kaku draws a compelling analogy. If you're walking in the woods and find a shiny device with moving parts, you wouldn't assume it's a naturally eroded rock. You'd consider it engineered. With Oumuamua, the moving parts are its precisely controlled acceleration pattern. Let's pause. What do you think? Could this be just a strange comet fragment? Or does the precise pattern hint at design? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll reveal what leading scientists say in a moment. Remember, this all started with Michio Kaku's data showing Oumuamua's push wasn't random. That's the thread tying this whole mystery together. The objects seemed to be making controlled adjustments, subtle but unmistakable shifts that defied simple explanation. And with three I slash ATLAS now giving us a clear example of how normal interstellar comets behave, Oumuamua stands out even more as something potentially extraordinary. What this means for us. Whether natural or engineered, these cosmic visitors represent something profound. 
actual pieces of other star systems passing through our neighborhood. Studying them is like holding fragments of alien worlds in our hands, offering unprecedented insights into planetary formation beyond our sun. Each new interstellar visitor reminds us we are part of a vast and dynamic galaxy, notes an ESA science report. Sometimes, the universe comes to us. The discoveries of Oumuamua and now 3i slash ATLAS have triggered a scientific revolution in how we search for and study these messengers. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, featuring a massive 3.2 gigapixel camera, will systematically scan the entire sky night after night. Simulations indicate this telescope could detect one or more interstellar objects per year. Perhaps dozens if smaller objects are common. And crucially, Rubin will spot them on their way in, not after they've already passed by, like Oumuamua. This advance warning is transforming our approach from passive observation to active interception. The European Space Agency has approved the Comet Interceptor mission, scheduled for launch in 2029. This innovative spacecraft will wait at a Sun-Earth Lagrange point, ready to deploy when a suitable target appears. The mission includes a main spacecraft and two sub-probes that separate to provide multiple viewing angles, giving us the first close-up look at a pristine visitor from another star. For the first time in history, we're preparing not just to watch these messengers, but to meet them up close. Think about it this way. In 2017, we barely noticed Oumuamua before it was gone. Next time, we could have months of warning. Imagine, instead of blurry telescope data, we might see close-up images, maybe even scoop samples. That's how quickly this field is moving. Some forward-thinking engineers have even outlined concepts like Project Lyra, ultra-fast probes that could potentially catch up to Oumuamua-like objects years after discovery. While technically challenging, these proposals show how seriously scientists are taking these visitors. But what if the next one looks more like Oumuamua than 3i slash ATLAS? That's where things get really interesting and potentially revolutionary for our understanding of the cosmos. Let's step back and understand why Oumuamua captivated scientists from the moment of its discovery. On October 19, 2017, the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii detected a faint moving point of light that quickly proved extraordinary. Named 1i slash Oumuamua, meaning scout or messenger from afar in Hawaiian, it was confirmed as the first interstellar object ever observed in our solar system. Its hyperbolic trajectory proved it came from another star entirely and was just passing through. What made astronomers take immediate notice was its extreme speed, racing along at nearly 200,000 miles per hour, 87 kilometers per second, far faster than typical asteroids or comets in our neighborhood. As telescopes worldwide tracked it, Oumuamua revealed even more puzzling traits. Its brightness fluctuated dramatically every seven to eight hours, suggesting an extremely unusual shape tumbling through space. To explain the 10 to 1 brightness variation, scientists concluded it was either cigar-shaped or flat like a pancake, nothing like the roughly spherical objects we typically see. Estimates put its size at about 400 meters long if cigar-shaped, or roughly 115 by 111 by 19 meters if disc-like. It appeared dark reddish in color, unlike any asteroid or comet seen before. Most puzzling was the complete absence of any visible coma or tail, despite exhibiting a slight acceleration that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. Normal comets get pushed by vaporizing ice when warmed by the sun, but Oumuamua showed no visible outgassing whatsoever. Science fiction fans immediately drew parallels to Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Rama, which features a cylindrical alien starship entering our solar system. Some astronomers even half-jokingly nicknamed the object Rama on social media. All these details set the stage for why Kaku's new data and the sudden arrival of 3i slash ATLAS have reignited the mystery that's been simmering since 2017. I know some of you followed the news back in 2017, but here's the key. The more we look back at that data with new tools, the stranger it gets. That's why today, we're still talking about it. Unlike most astronomical mysteries that fade with time and better data, 
Oumuamua has become more intriguing with each new analysis. The questions it raised continue to drive innovation in how we search for and interpret these cosmic visitors. What started as a fleeting cosmic curiosity in 2017 has evolved into something far more profound. Michio Kaku's analysis has provided disturbing evidence of non-random motion in Oumuamua's trajectory, patterns that suggest purposeful adjustment rather than chaotic drift. Meanwhile, the arrival of 3I-ATLAS proves these interstellar visitors aren't rare anomalies but recurring travelers through our cosmic neighborhood. With its active comet-like behavior, contrasting sharply with Oumuamua's enigmatic nature, 3I-ATLAS offers a perfect comparison case that only deepens the original mystery. The debate between natural and artificial explanations remains open, but what's certain is that the hunt for answers is accelerating. New telescopes, missions, and analytical techniques are transforming how we approach these questions. Rubin Observatory will soon detect interstellar objects annually. Comet Interceptor will stand ready to chase them down. And AI-driven analysis will extract ever more insights from the data we gather. We're witnessing the birth of a new field of astronomy. The sky is no longer just stars and planets. It's highways for travelers we're only starting to notice, carrying messages from distant worlds we may never otherwise glimpse. What Oumuamua taught us is that the universe can surprise us in ways we weren't prepared for. Its peculiarities forced astronomers to stretch existing theories or consider entirely new ones. That intellectual flexibility, the willingness to follow evidence wherever it leads, is science at its best. Whether these objects are natural messengers shaped by processes we're still learning about, or something more extraordinary, they remind us that we are not alone in this galaxy's story. Other star systems are reaching out to us, one fragment at a time. As Kaku himself often says, somewhere out there, the truth is waiting. With open minds and better tools, we just might find it the next time a tiny light from afar graces our skies. Don't miss what's coming next. Subscribe and join us the moment the next interstellar visitor arrives.